extra cost. So tell us what you're doing on the data. Get three lines of unlimited data for 50 bucks each with a fourth line on us. Hurry, only at the Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buds and Suds. And today we are doing a battle beers. We are going to do Hoof Hearted. Everybody wants some Citra, uh, an 8% ABV, double IPA, IPA, uh, single hop Citra beer versus Treehouse's Julius, 6.8% uh, IPA, highly rated. You know what that beer is. Um, on the, uh, you know, the beer too, there's been a lot of talk about this. Everybody wants some citrus. Some people think it's a juice bomb. Some people think it's kind of uh, a little bitter, uh, not quite as good as the, a uh, little bit overhyped, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, Hoof Heart is killing it. They're making, you know, nice juicy beers. Treehouse is the standard of IPAs right Absolutely. now as far as the uh, Northeast IPAs go. So we just want to try them side by side, see what we think, and uh, try to give an honest opinion. You know, we can get the Hoof Hearted stuff a little easier, so I feel like I oftentimes we'll overrate it or, or build it up just because it's so hard to, uh, for me to get treehouse. So I recognize that. And I, tonight I'm going to try to be as honest as I can about you know what I get uh, and which one I prefer. Yeah, so we're both going to pretty much just lay it on the line and if we overrated the hoof hearted, we'll admit okay. it, but let's just see. Yeah, and so uh, as far as dates go, the treehouse beer was uh, canned February 11th, and it is currently uh, March 26th, 25th. So five weeks. So we did it on purpose because yeah. we've heard that if you drink it too early, it, it just needs to age for what four weeks, three, three to four, four weeks. weeks. So this is a little beyond that. Just a little bit. And uh, the uh, everybody wants some Citra was maybe like a week or two after that. I think it was like the 20th or so of February. So they're right around the same age. Um, so they should be pretty comparable as far as, as that goes. So really looking forward to this. And uh, again, want to be honest about these two and let's get into them. Yeah, the look, I, so I, we've kind of described the Hoofhearted as an ugly looking beer and it it, uh, it looks like gravy. I guess almost. we should have, so, uh, you saw the pores, but the, I don't know how, how well they um, go on camera, but the lighter one here, this more gravy, milk, yeah. milk orange juice. Yeah, milk and orange is juice. The, uh, is the Hoof Hearted and this more uh, amber orange beer in my right hand. The more beer looking one is uh, the Julius. Is the Julius, <laughs> so anyway. But they both have nice creamy white heads. They They're both thick and opaque as far as how oh, juicy yeah. they look. It's just the, uh, again, gravy versus a little more <laughs> orange looking. Well, and one thing I would like to say is I've seen some people say that this one just looks like this because it's got too much yeast in it and there was no yeast flocculated at the bottom. Uh, there weren't any floaters. Uh, it's not the yeast that's making it this opaque and this white, but anyway, that's just my two cents. So let's get the nose let's on both of these. Which one do you want to do at the same time? Yeah, we'll just go back and forth. I'm doing uh, the hoof hearted first. Oh, that smells so good. Yeah. I mean, that's a big smelly juicy awesome citra bomb yeah tropical tropical juice fruits for me um pineapple get some orange mango mostly sweet orange. fruits um, yeah, a little sweet bit fruits. of pineapple and it has this what i describe as like an artificial sweetness type. i guess maybe it's bubble gum i guess i think is my, my same term for that it's yeah it's like a bubble gum or like a little candied fruit mm -hmm. you know yeah. but an artificial candy i'd agree fruit. with that candied fruit yeah all right, all right. Hmm. Don't get much, don't get as much out of it. It's not as aromatic, but hmm. I'm not, I, it's just not quite as aromatic. Uh, it's still got a citrusy aroma. Yeah, it just doesn't pop like this one. And I know some people are going to say, "Oh, it's because you waited too long." Well, I mean, this yeah. one is only six weeks old. Is that what? Yeah, that, yeah. two eleven. So about six weeks. Yeah, five to six weeks. Yeah, about yeah. But yeah, it still it still uh, has a um, uh, juicy tropical. This, that, that classic Julius, I guess if you yeah. haven't had Julius, that doesn't make any sense to you, but just this nice orange uh, aroma is just not quite as aromatic as the hoof hearted. And then, you know, but that doesn't surprise me because the reviews I've seen, no one's complained about the aroma of this, everybody that's wants true. some citrus. In that's fact, true. everyone said this is way more aromatic. Um, so that, that's, that's not shocking at all. So let's uh, just they say the taste doesn't follow yeah, as much. Let's so get into find it. Out. Cheers. All right, cheers. Still tastes like a, a juicy 
citrusy. I mean, but it's a little more on the tart side. Yeah, I was gonna say it's more like it's more like grapefruit than I remember. Yeah. It's got a little more tart fruit to it. It definitely doesn't quite pop on the flavor as much as as much as the uh, aroma, and it is a little. I mean, it's quite a bit more bitter than I remember, and mm. more um, more tart, more bitter than yeah. Yeah, it was sweeter the first time I had it. And I definitely get that on the back of the tongue, just a little more bitter, a little more. It's just not quite as juicy as as I think I gave it credit for. I don't know if it's age or just I was on the hype train, choo choo. I'm not sure, yeah. but um, it's still a great beer. Well, but I do get more of. I think what I've been seeing people talk about, I actually was looking for it on this, and, yeah. and I do see exactly what they're talking about. I get a little more bite. I yeah. think, uh, maybe, was it Darwin that said he got a little bite from it? it just, and Joe from Joe's Arcade. Yeah, yeah. I kind of I get that. Um, it didn't really stand out the first time we tried it. I'm not sure if it's because someone else described it that way or because it, I mean, it hadn't fallen off at this no. point. It, it's way too fresh to have fallen off, maybe now that we know to look for it. I don't know. And that's part of it. And I think uh, Joe put in a comment that uh, he gave a sip to his wife and she said something about gastric acid <laughs> or something like that. And I wouldn't go quite that far, but yeah. I definitely get the, it was, a, it's not quite as just a straight juice bomb that I was giving it the credit mm -hmm. for. It's a little more of the bite, a little it's more bitterness. It's more bite. It certainly has more bitterness than what I remembered. Um, I wonder if the bite, I don't, it's not from overcarbonation because you can get that from overcarbonation, but you can also get it from your water profile too. I wish I'd reviewed that before I came in, but I think, uh, I think calcium, if you increase the calcium, it gives it more of a sharpness. And that might be what they've done, yeah. intentional or not. Yeah, but I, my overall impression, uh, I, in retrospect, I agree. Uh, the aroma is phenomenal. It, it, is. it doesn't quite pop on the flavor like it, like, um, the, it doesn't live up to the aroma. It, it is juicy, it is tropical, it is juicy. but it's more grapefruit. Uh, I think it's more bitter juiciness on the uh, tart on flavor. Yeah, tart tart. Bitterness. And uh, a little bit sweetness. of a bite, but still good. Um, and let's get into this. Let's get this. into this, yeah. Cheers. Mm. Mm. A little grassier than I remembered. Yeah. Um, but much smoother. Absolutely. Does not have the it bite. Doesn't have a bite to it. Um, it's just it's orange juice. I mean, it's it's nice, smooth, tropical juiciness, sweet, um, kind of steady throughout the palate. Doesn't have a kick yeah. at the end. Doesn't have a bite. It's more pleasant. It's yeah. more pleasant beer to drink. It, it the mouth feels a little smoother. Uh, it does have that herbal grassy note that you talked about, mm -hmm. like that fresh that fresh hop. Uh, flavor. Well, we intentionally let it sit for a little while yeah. because it's supposed to be much worse immediately after cake or after candy. A little more right? intense grassiness. Yeah. Um, so this is a good balance. But that's, yeah, much more balance. It definitely tastes, uh, that grassy note, it's part, it is part of the hop. Mm -hmm. It's part of beer. It's part of hops. And so it, it's perfect. Um, as far as the flavor though, I mean, I get some sweet mm -hmm. citrusy flavor, but it's not like punch you in your face, citrusy yeah. flavor, but it's still very good. Let me go back. Yeah. The nose, I mean, just pull this up to my face. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's hard to even breathe. There's so much citrusy aroma in this. Yeah, and that, <sighs> that bubble gum. This just, it definitely stands out as a little more bite bitter, grapefruit, grapefruit peel. Yeah. Um, uh, it's just, it has that, it has that edge to it. Um, whereas the Julius is definitely smoother for me, sweeter, um, just kind of a, just a nice, smooth, mellow beer, uh, a little bit of that grassiness there, fresh, yeah. fresh, hoppy, you know, grassiness. Um, I wonder, I wish I knew what the IBUs of each one were, because I wonder if, mm. if some of it is just IBU bitterness. Yeah. I don't know. Well, you know, it's interesting though, whatever gives, you know, so, you know, I know you homebrew and I've smelled fresh hops and taste, you know, tasted that. This tastes like fresh hops, the, the Julius does. Yeah. It has that, I mean, that's what it does. It has a little bit of juiciness, tropical fruitiness, and this kind of grassiness. This doesn't have that. I mean, it's more, and it could just be a different hop variety, could be, could be I mean, it could be the yeast, I don't know. It should be citrus. I mean, well, I see what you mean by hop variety. They could be getting it from different, different growers. Well, Julius, we don't know if it's straight, oh, it's not just straight citra. Well, maybe not. I don't think it is. Uh, hmm. 
does it say? No, I think they just say American hops. But American hops. You know, I was looking because um, I was just curious about like recipes and, and someone. It was like Centennial and huh. uh, Cascade. And there's a couple. There's a there's a recipe out that I think the Treehouse Brewer actually put out and said, "Hey, you want a nice juicy IPA? Try this." And it was two. I think it was two different. I think it was like a Centennial Cascade. I can't remember which one it was, but it didn't even have century in it. And uh, so again, th this may not even, I don't know, I'm assuming yeah, there's citrus in there, but um, this just has a different, it doesn't have that grassiness at all. I mean, not it even doesn't. a touch of it. It's more, it's just grapefruit and this kind of bubble gum. And I don't know if that's part of the, like, uh, part of the yeast. I'm not it could sure. be, it could be the yeast that they use. Um, you know, it could be esters, depending mm -hmm. on, um, you know, what temperature they ferment at. I wonder though, as much, as much aroma as this has in it, but without any grassy note, I wonder if they're adjuncting with, you know, lemons and um, other types of rinds, okay. uh, orange, lemon, grapefruit, because you can adjunct with that to add more aroma and more bite to it, but I, I just wonder if they're doing that. Yeah. Because how else could they be getting that much aroma without the grassy flavor? I just, I don't get that. And this almost has like a mouthfeel and a finish, like a soda feel. Like it, maybe it's the carbonation, um, but it just has that kind of kick there at the end. Again, phenomenal beers. Uh, really good. I think I overrated this I think a I little bit. Um, just a little though, for those of you who are <laughs> haters. Um, uh, it's it's still, it's kind of between a 4.5 and a 4.75. Yeah, I'm, I, that's exactly what I was gonna say. I, I wanna pay extra, I wanna seek it out, mm -hmm. but how much more? It's not a five, I, I think I gave it a five the first yeah, time. Yeah, I did too. Um, maybe because I was just so excited to have it's it. It's like a 4.67, I'll go 4.75, just because I, I like it, I think I'm being, I'm being very critical tonight, yeah. and it's it's something you want to drink. I would drink a lot of it, and I'm being extra critical tonight. Um, but it, it, yeah, it's a four seven five. Um, I, what did I get Julius last time? I mean, it's like a five for me. I, I think it, we both gave it a five. Yeah, I love Julius. Be. I mean, it's, 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 it's a five. It's almost for a perfect me. beer. Yeah. I, I'm knocking this one down to a four five, which okay. is still a phenomenal beer for me. It's not a five though. Yeah. Um, so for haters, I guess you were right. <laughs> But well, I wouldn't still, call them four or five. I wouldn't say hate. I mean, no, it's just people no, being. We they're, appreciate they're you right. being critical. And you know, this this is to say something for the hype trade too. I mean, you hear how far to how far. You know, it's and it, yeah. it's really good. I mean, so don't like be put down like oh it's crap. It's not. No. It's phenomenal. I think I did get caught up a little bit in it. It, it, it you know, it's four five four seven five. Mm -hmm. uh, I love this beer, and in fact, I mean, the next release I'm actually planning on going. <laughs> That's how much I like it. Um, but I, yeah, I think I'll knock it just a little bit. And I, tonight the winner is Julius. I, I do prefer it. And, yeah, it's uh, it's just a, a easier drinking beer. Um, if Julius had this aroma, it'd be like a six plus. <laughs> but turn it to eleven. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> But it has 11. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, um, awesome. Anything else? No. This was a wonderful uh, video. Mm -hmm. Thanks you guys for watching. Yeah. As always, if you can't have the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks.